All right, let's go through these steps together. I was having trouble on my first map, but I figured it out. Published new release, I can't do it. I don't have a private version. This is from an old map. Created in Creative, the first one. Not Creative 2.0, Unreal Engine. But all right, that's one's in review. That's a brand new one I did. Right, um, I'm gonna open Unreal Engine. But yeah, I'm also logged in on my Xbox here. So I can play the creative mode sessions on there. I'm gonna be doing popping clouds, trying to give it a fresh look and everything. Cause here on popping clouds, it looks like some of them, they're actually not lining up. Like some of the maps I find Unreal Engine are not in my library yet. There's the old popping clouds. I'm trying to, I can't do a public game of it. So I'm trying, I gotta do it in Creative 2.0. I'm gonna go ahead and convert it. Opening this island for the first time, we'll convert it to a project. Player save data accolades are not supported. Yeah, it's all fine. All right, get rid of the space here. Should be able to convert. Project name just couldn't have a space there. So get rid of the space and you're good to go. Go ahead and convert. UEFN, yes. Support creator is not supported anymore. <laughs> That's fine. You get paid for interaction on your map. As well as using your epic code in the shop. But no more ads on your maps. So this is my first time bringing it over. I brought, I brought over the free-for-all one. But still, bikes and shoddies. I deleted that one. I don't even know why. They're still working on all their stuff, so... Here's the map. All right, I'll just keep all the player save stats and stuff. But all right, um, yeah, launch session. You can do connect to platform. So I'm logged in on my Xbox here. And it'll actually launch it there in case like you don't want to run Unreal Engine and Fortnite on your computer. It might be very taxing if you don't have the best computer. I actually have a really good computer and I still don't like to do it. it makes it run hot. But all right, yes, before we do that, see, I can't do that. You must have a session to launch memory calculation. Let's look back at this. I can't, I can't publish one because I don't have any private versions just because it's on the old Fortnite creative. All right, so I'm gonna launch a session. It's um automatically connecting to my Xbox, loading into your edit session connecting edit session and I can just play whenever I want and then I push updates back either way I can actually edit on Xbox or I can edit on the Unreal Engine because some stuff you might be familiar with you might be familiar with it the other way Unreal Engine is obviously way better but if you just want to change something real quick that you don't know how to do when it does you can launch memory calculation though so what you gotta do before you can publish it the new way. Each game, even if it's very low, not even about to be over the memory, you gotta launch memory calculation. All right, here you go, starting game. It's going right into the game, I guess. I didn't really want it to do that, but it's a game I'm going to. You can end the game from here. Yeah, or you can end the game from here. Just uh, return to island. Session connected, push changes. I'm just gonna push all pending. Oh, there's pending changes, I guess. I don't know. Push changes. I didn't really do anything, but then the game's gonna launch again. Go ahead and end the game. Alright, there you go. Launch memory calculation. Prior, okay, here's a one of the things I was running into prior to calculating. Your project memory, you need to upload your project. Upload your project to a test code through the project menu. Project menu is also this. Upload to test code, right at the top. Enter notes for it, whatever I need to. Not that, not that deep of a project. Okay, that's already doing that. 
All right, so here we go. Please run a memory calculation in UEFN. All right, yeah, so there's one of the problems that you hit. You have to publish. I think you also need the image. That's optional. Trailer video. The game's ending. All right, yes. So I already had all this. I want to space there like I already had. I guess I can't do it yet. I'm not ready to do it yet. All right, I need to fix this. So I now have a private version. Now we can do launch memory calculation. And it pretty much did it instant. It made a sound, but here it is. It did it instantly. Continue. Not much memory at all. All right, we got the check mark there. All right, and click on publish. All that should be good. I did this before. Oh, put a space here for popping clouds. Add image. Got an image ready from earlier. Pop on clouds. There we go. All right, there we go. Submit for publishing. Release tiling code automatically. Yeah, I want it to be public and everything. The image is not. The ratio should have been good. All right, try and there we go. Where's the new one? That should be it. All right, and we got it. Public release submitted for publishing. It's in review. So I now have two in review. And that's how you do it. It's not that hard, actually. That was one that I previously did, and it's the same for anyone you make in Unreal Engine. If you bring it over from the first creative that you made previously, or it's a brand new one in Unreal Engine, that's how you gotta do it. Alright, sweet.